Automation refers to the use of technology to perform tasks that otherwise would be done manually by humans. By automating different aspects of the survey process, you can save time and effort, enhance data quality, provide faster insights, and improve scalability. In this video, you will learn about automations in general, as well as two types of automations, invite automations and response automations. I'm also going to share an example of a fully automated survey workflow for some inspiration. If you're interested in automizing your work with Analyzer, check out the video on our integration tools. We take a deep dive into Sapier, SFTP, Webhooks, and Azure Active Directory. Before we dive into the two types of automations, let's talk about what an automation is and how it works. An automation, as the name suggests, is something that happens automatically. However, things don't just happen by themselves. There's always a trigger. A trigger can be a specific date and time, a user added or updated in a system, or a completed survey. Once the trigger is set off, a sequence of one or more actions will begin. An action can be something like sending a notification, adding or updating data in a system, or sending survey invitations. Actions can also be formatting, filtering, or even time delays. The trigger always captures the information that is parsed through the action. For example, this could be respondents' background variables, survey answers, or even metadata. Invite automations refer to automating the process of sending out surveys. The action of this automation is a survey send out, but there could be different triggers that you can use. First, within Analyzer, you can schedule the invitation date and time. Instead of having to remember that you have to send a survey at a specific time, upload the respondent file, etc., you can just do it once and then set the specific date and time that you want your survey to be sent out. The date and time will act as the trigger. You can also schedule the send out of your reminders as well as when the survey should close. You can schedule two reminders at a time delay depending on when you send your invitation. For example, you can say that the first reminder will be sent seven days after the initial invitation and the second reminder will be sent the day before the survey closes. If you're working with ongoing surveys, I recommend that you check out the recurring survey automation. This automation allows you to send survey invitations to organization members at a set frequency, for example, daily, weekly, quarterly, annually, etc. Instead of uploading a respondent file each time, the information that the automation uses is parsed directly from the organization members' profiles. You can update this information manually directly within the Analyzer organization settings, or even better, to make sure that it's always up to date, you can use the Azure Active Directory integration. We have a whole video about it that I recommend you check out. Another way of automating the survey invitation process is by using the transaction or event-based method. This will require you to integrate Analyzer to other systems using Sapier, Webhooks, or the SFTP integration. Examples of triggers for this could be a customer making a purchase or using a service, an employee joining or leaving an organization, or if you've held a course or a webinar. Response automations refers to actions that are triggered every time someone completes a survey. There are tons of possibilities, and to be honest, the only thing that sets the limit is your imagination. I want to share some of the most common examples of this automation. With Analyzer, you can send email notifications to yourself as a survey administrator without any integrations. What you have to do is set up a category to tag and filter responses depending on whatever criteria you define. Whenever there is an incoming response that matches that category, you can get an email notification. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you have a survey that is rating the satisfaction of customers with your organization or a product or a service. 
and you have set up a category for everyone that has a low rating on that satisfaction. Every time someone gives a low rating, you will get an email notification allowing you to react quickly and assess the problem as needed. You can also send email notifications to your respondents. To make sure that they get a notification right after they complete the survey, you can set up automated workflows using Zapier. You get to personalize the message fully as well as choose which app to send the email with, for example, Gmail, Outlook, or anything else that you feel comfortable using. Some of our customers carry out personality profile tests using similar workflows. They will use Enalyzer to gather the data that they need and then in Zapier set up complex calculations, making certificates and recommendations that they will send out in this email. To stay in theme, another notification that you can send automatically is to relevant stakeholders. Similarly to respondents, this will be done with Zapier. You can send the notification via Slack, Microsoft Teams, or email. Typically, this will be used for customer surveys so that account managers can look into any feedback that comes in and react accordingly, but also quickly. However, you can also use this for whistleblower solutions to make sure that you have a way of managing any complaints that may arise in the workplace. On top of all of these notifications, you can also push responses to external systems using Zapier or webhooks. You can decide whether you want to send all of the collected data or specific data. Some examples of this automation could be adding or updating rows in Google Sheets, adding or updating information in your CRM or HRM, pushing data into Power BI, or adding cards into Trello. I'd like to inspire you with an example of a fully automated survey workflow. And for that, we need a scenario. So let's pretend that we work at a bank and we want to set up a standard procedure on how to evaluate bank meetings. How could that look like? First, start by setting up an integration with webhooks or Zapier between the application or software you use to plan your meetings and Analyzer. This integration will make sure that every time a meeting has been held, a bank evaluation meeting survey is sent to your customer. Next, with an analyzer, schedule two reminders to prompt them to answer your survey. Another integration that needs to be set up using webhooks or Zapier is linking analyzer with an instant messaging app, for example, Slack or Microsoft Teams or Gmail or any other email app. You get the picture. What this does is that when a customer leaves a bad rating, an instant message will be sent to the bank advisor. This way, bank advisors can react quickly, improving the overall customer experience. A third integration that you can create in this scenario, again, using webhooks or Zapier, is linking Analyzer to your CRM. When a customer answers the survey, your CRM will be updated with a tag or a label that is based on the customer's answers. That means that anybody with access to your CRM can check up on the process of your customer and see if anybody is a churn risk. Finally, to supplement the reports that you will create in Analyzer and share online to other relevant stakeholders, you can push the data to other systems for further analysis. So you can create an integration again with Webhook or Zapier to send customer feedback into Google Sheets or Power BI.